hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, wherever you're at in the world. It's your boy Blockchain coming at you with another Bitcoin and ETH technical analysis update. Um, I do apologize. I tried to get one out to you guys last night, um, but for whatever reason, YouTube didn't want to upload it. Um, so I figured I would just entirely redo it uh, today. So we'll kind of start from scratch. Um, so for those of you new to the channel, I am primarily an Elliott Wave trader using other technical analysis and trading strategies and areas of confluence, um, really just to kind of help complement everything and uh, look at some price analysis and price projections and see where we could potentially go. Um, I also did just start a Discord. Uh, we are close to 100 members in there. And if you guys do like my content, I do highly encourage you to join the Discord, become part of the group, um, as well as subscribe to the channel, give the uh, smash the likes, and uh, show us a little bit of support. Uh, helps with the whole algorithm and uh, getting the YouTube videos out there. So share, um, tell your friends, and um, you know, let's get everything going around. The whole idea is that we are creating a great community where we can bounce ideas and you know some other TA off of each other, help each other learn, grow and really become extremely profitable um, as traders and really any kind of market condition. So that's ultimately what we're shooting for. Pretty great group we have going on so far, so I'll go ahead and jump over to there at the moment. Um, so I'm actually able to do a lot more updates in the Discord um, you know, than what I am on YouTube, so make sure you guys follow. But a lot of uh, great technical analysis from other traders that are in there. Um, some highlights and some thoughts of going around of what's in the market. Um, if you guys were in the Discord, you guys would have seen the other day uh, where I did actually post this particular chart on ETH. I'm looking for a main target of roughly 149 uh, to get to from a WXY correction that we have been going through. Um, and we did get that pump yesterday. We actually got, you know, right above it. Um, you know, we wicked a little bit higher than the 149, um, but, you know, ultimately end up uh, got rejected yesterday. Um, and kind of been just climbing up steadily ever since. Now that rejection did look like a five wave move down um, with Elliott Wave. So what, remember, whatever starts with five and needs to end with five doesn't necessarily have to be an impulse wave, but just because we had a five wave connected to a five wave, um, you know, we do know that one ended and one began. So ideally what I was looking for is an impulse to the downside, um, bringing us, you know, into the lows of roughly 120 for ETH, um, roughly around uh, 6,000 for Bitcoin. Um, we've been kind of just marching up, looks pretty corrective to me ever since. So let's go ahead and dive over to the charts right now and uh, dive into a little bit more detail here. All right, guys. So um, really all of um, this climb right here is what I was talking about that we've been climbing up fairly correctively since. Um, it, it can be a couple of different things and ideally I was looking for a impulse move down. Now it still can be an impulse move. It's not invalidated yet. Um, let me go to the 15 minute, you can see a little bit clearer. Um, but where basically this would be your one, I'll draw it out real quick for you guys. Uh, so this would be your wave one, could still be a two, and then ultimately down for a three, four, and a five. Um, this is a three wave move from what I have at the moment. Um, and depending what it, it could potentially also be a zigzag, um, not necessarily an impulse. So also when we take the fib extensions, um, I'm actually gonna pull it from here. I'll be a little bit more conservative just because that wick is a little bit higher plus we have a candle in between um, from a transition for a three wave move um, so now if this is a impulse i'm kind of coming back down to the targets that i was talking about before would put us roughly ending at around 124 dollars roughly for eth uh, with this higher um, move up for a wave two but it it could also be a zigzag. And how are we going to know? How are we going to be able to tell? Um, this is because we'd had this five wave move, so it does need to connect to another five wave move down to the downside. Now, if it's a zigzag, we can look at a couple of different areas uh, for in which it could potentially land. Um, zigzags are corrective three wave moves. Um, so we can really look anywhere between 
uh, right here in the $137 mark, um, all the way down to the 1.618 at 130. Um, and really it's just going to come down to the extensions and we're going to have to watch the wave structure form as it comes down. Um, just because that's going to give us a better target um, to help pinpoint of where exactly this thing could potentially finish. And is it a one, two, one, two, um, or is it going to end up being the full zigzag for a one, two, three, four, five? And that's going to be the, the big question in regards to what happens now. So all of this, again, three wave move looks pretty corrective. Um, should be ideally wrapping up now if we do go past the start of wave one um, which looks like is around 147 um, you know we've gotten close we haven't gotten there yet but if we go past that then this is invalidated as a wave one uh, for an impulse wave so this is what we'll stay close to um, also it, I don't know if any of you guys have been uh, watching the news at all but this morning that they did announce the job reports um, and they are much worse than expected with the whole coronavirus thing going on. Um, and really what were, you know, somewhat conservative, I think it was what the job reports were, but employment, they're now projecting 15% here in the U.S. Um, 10 million filed for unemployment in the past two weeks. So things have been kind of crazy. So the stock market isn't open yet. Um, but I do expect today being Friday uh, with that news circulating before the market opens that we will have fairly significant downside to the stock market as well. And I am looking for that to kind of translate over into the crypto market at the same time. Um, so something to watch for where I'm looking for. Um, now, if I'm going to zoom out from a little bit of a larger time frame, it, we can still move up at the same time. And if this does turn into a zigzag, then that we'll would expect another ABC to move to the further up. Um, so this again, I have a three wave move. So this would be your A. And if this was a z zigzag for a one, two, one, two, then that would come down for a B. Um, generally drawn out for a little bit longer. So, I mean, um, we can even have another move in between that. So Bs are generally going to be your longest wave, uh, but it can be equal to an A1, uh, wave one, sometimes a little bit shorter. And then that would give us an opportunity for a C to move up. And that could potentially finish off the Y wave as well, um, which would ultimately give us this, again, three wave structure for an ABC. And if we did, then we would also expect um, movement. We already tagged the 3 2 with that move, which was the first target. I would then be looking for the 0. 0.5 and be looking for the 0. 0.618 um, at those two targets 157, 165, roughly in those areas. So, again, it's going to come down to what we do right now in the near term to help form out the larger time frame. Um, but this is what I'm going to be looking for. Um, it's kind of I guess it will kind of depend on what we look at going into the weekend as well. Um, there's sometimes some um, some factory going on on the weekend, so we'll see what this turns into today. Um, we're going to keep a close eye range on you know what this particular area forms out um, between really today going into the end of business. Um, Bitcoin. Again, very similar story, and the reason why I do do ETH and Bitcoin together um, is just because that they have a 98% correlation between the two, um, meaning that they really have the same movements. However, the wave structures could potentially be a little bit different that's within those uh, to help give a little bit more clarity in regards to you know, what the next move could potentially be. Next move could potentially be just because there could be a move that ETH does that invalidates a wave structure that Bitcoin hasn't done yet. Um, and I don't know, maybe Bitcoin will load, maybe it won't. And, um, you know, I could cover a couple of those things with you guys, but we will see. This is kind of the same thing I was having issues with the other day, so I don't know what's going on. Let me try this again. I'll pull ETH back up. Let's see, Biddy. There you are. All right. All right. So, again, um, I was looking for a similar structure in regards to having this be that impulse on the wave down. Um, 
it can still be the impulse, but again, we have that three wave move. This was a five wave up, so meaning that this would have to be a zigzag now to make this a three wave connection in between. And um, you know, we have a little bit of droppage um, happening at the moment, where you know we have you know held up that decent trend line right here for support. Looks like we are starting to lose that. Um, but if you also look at the composite index right down here on the 15 minute, um, it you know it's it's pretty tired out um you know but composite index can go you know negative um but generally it kind of stays within this particular range between zero and probably i'd say about 100 and 140 ish um on the max um it does sometimes go into you know the negatives negative 20s negative 30s uh, but those are generally on for a little bit more of extreme moves so we'll kind of see what this does. It does look a little bit tired. Um, so we'll kind of see as it resets and, you know, we'll go from there. But um, not a lot of action happening right here at the moment. So, again, this is one we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, we'll see what the market looks like uh, once it actually opens up for stocks and see if that has any kind of influence in regards to what Bitcoin or ETH potentially tries to do. Um, but, again, um, five wave down is going to have to connect with another five wave. So from... And update those from the initial drop. So let me change these guys for you. Um, but we'll be looking, you know, a zigzag connection move can put us down to roughly 62.55. Um, it'll also put us at some trend line support uh, for a zigzag, but it can also go between the 65.55 as well. So somewhere within here, roughly, is where I'm going to be looking for for the near term. And again, depending how it forms out, will let us know if we're going to break this trend line and go further down, or if we're going to connect with another three wave move and have some further upside. Um, how I talked about with ETH. So we will see, guys. Um, but you know, the smaller time frame does make out the larger time frame. And as I said before, um, you know, that we can still be in a uh, wave four at the moment. Uh, for this larger move down and it could be all just part of a larger complex correction to where this entire move um, is still a WXY that's not invalidated yet, but just um, Complex correction after complex cor correction um, Which makes it larger so we still can move up uh, for the bullish count But we need you know some further downside um, ultimately in the near term before we can um, but Still looking at this potentially as a wave four and then coming back down for a fifth and then hopefully they'll finish this entire move off and we can start a new bull run. Um, so those are my thoughts, guys. If you have questions, leave them in the comments. Um, again, just, you know, show some love, support the channel, join the discord. Um, but, you know, hope to see you guys in there and I will catch you guys on the next video. See you later.